What's up, y'all? Smur time 64. Well, Welcome back I to uh, it's not Persona like 4. Every time I so, uh, back, I had a small snafu of where life journals in your I, my save state then uh, save to where, I don't know, uh, where I started at. So, uh, uh, excuse me, is it okay if the I know I started somewhere around here. here. So I picked it up from right here. Anyway, uh, thank got another episode real quick. Huh? Yeah, sure. Mm. So hurry up and sit down already. This guy's a complete douchebag. I'm so sorry for skipping through this if I didn't do it in my last video. Uh, it's been a while. I went uh, outdoorsing. I was outside for the, He's uh, the 24 worst, hour, huh? roughly 12 plus hours. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, mm. we'll just have to hang in there for a year. No, she's so nice. Everyone's talking in class immediately already. Look, look at this. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. He's my super hearing right now. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Everyone's auto on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Exactly. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. No, thank you. Uh, we are motherfucking uh, Sam Bros of fit in everywhere. In fact, everyone f everyone fits into us. Uh, That's all for today. I was like a oh, weird audio cut. Tomorrow. I was like, why is it so quiet? Attention, all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. That's that's perfect. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's seriously getting on my nerves. I think it's on everyone's nerves. Typical teen stuff. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? So I hear that something new. Is looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. I like how this game, like, I like how a lot of this Shin Megami Tensei games always just like, they're their own little bubble of a world that sort of correlates with the outside world themselves just a little bit. There's never anything like, none of the major news, but, uh. Hey, hey Yukiko-san, mind if I ask you something? Oh my god. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. I don't know what the heck else. Oh, yeah. yeah. So not. the story usually corresponds in, like, usually what year the game is made in, plus some relevant current things. Like, the game is, like, current ish, you know, <sighs> in the Jeez, fantasy how much world. Longer is this gonna take? Maybe they use, like, real life location names and stuff, but that's really it. There's no telling. Anyway, uh, if you also noticed that, uh, again, if you're not familiar with the uh, Shin Megami Tensei Persona series, uh, that some characters have a portrait like that. Or something like they're just Did blowing up character face, the other day? and some other people just to have uh, nothing. You know that thing about you, this is how nights. you can tell the importance of each character. It's kind of noticeable. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, "My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer." Yeah, Attention, I heard, all so, students. uh, I totally agree. The voice actor for this one, uh, for Chie and Persona 4, uh, PS2, is better than the one the from the one Persona 4 Golden. The I've seen the LP of it. Uh, if, you haven't, if you want to see an LP of Persona 4 Golden, go check out, uh, a German spy. He's, uh, really, I love it. I love it. He can a bunch. Check him out after my channel, of course. I'll try to put a link into the description the of his P4 home. thing going on. Uh, 
I think he already finished already. I know he's been there for a long time, so I'm not gonna say if he's finished or not. But the game is long, so he won't be here for a while. But uh, anyway, he uh, he was talking about the voice actors between that uh, for Chie, and uh, he was like, "This is it's like her, her voice actor in, in Persona 4 Golden is really obnoxious." Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. My bad. I didn't you mean to uh, spoil the, the names for you. Well, nice to meet you. After you explicitly asked me to sit next to you. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? She kicked him in the groin. What the? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My trial of the dragon! Oh no, y'all are getting the reference. I'm not even going to explain it to you. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the net. I think if they would just ignore the second part of the line, the joke would have been twice as funny. Uh, are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Wish they would show and see him, him just getting kicked. Yeah, see, that's not that's not a bro move. You're like you're a bro, you gotta be like, say it, bro, say dog, you need some ice or something. No, you good, you good man. If he says he's fine, he's fine. But if he's not, you gotta help the bro out. You're Yuki, right? You wanna go hang out somewhere? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I like how everyone's listening to those two guys in the background. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge She's literally is? right here. Uh, so, are, are you coming or not? I, I'm i not going. Fine. I don't know why he got butthurt. It's, it was a, literally the most awkward way to ask somebody out. What did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Th that's not that obvious, huh? though. Really? I gave her that. Like, they just like, hey, you want to come hang out right now? Let's go. You really had no clue. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not gonna say it was. It was pretty straightforward. Again, I, but at the same that time, was way over the top. Yeah. I, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yeah. Yo, Yukiko-san, turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Broson. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. It's, it's not curiosity. Um, 
I'm it's, sorry for trying it's, to it's, use but, this. So what they, I guess, are trying to infer, if you, if y'all just kind of dense out there, is that you know, the new Come kid, on. the new transfer kid from the city, Everybody from and you, and it is, if you have nuts, this is a country town. Okay, work travels faster than lightning, as you can tell. He just went from the. This is where your main character went. He went from the bus station to the gas station to to I guess his new home. All right. At that point in time, the whole town learned that he came to town. He's oh, from the city, so and he's new. And they know probably know, probably know where he's living as well. I it was something way more he's serious. living with as well. No, this is how small this town is. There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous oh wait there's the Amagi Inn Yukiko's family runs it it's the pride of Inaba huh it's just an old inn oh no way it's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure it's a great inn it's been going for generations and Yukiko here is going to take over someday the inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I feel so bad. I for don't it. think that's entirely true. That's yeah. I so I I, just, I get it. I, so I understand me, her life now. You think I get Yukiko's it. Cute, it huh? sucks. It's cool. It sucks. Let's see. Brush off. Sam brush off. Never turn down an attractive woman. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Ever. Sam Brosnan never turns Come down. On, don't start this. Again. Any woman, most likely ever. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Yeah, it's really weird. Come on, stop it. You're embarrassing me. I want to make my own move in twenty years or so. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Okay, see, those those things are not true. W wait, no, no. no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Let's shut your face. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Actually, that's not true as well. Hey, what's that? What you'll come to learn and find out very soon. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down the street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? This is a small town, you'll figure out what's, what they're talking about very soon. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up Never around mind. here. I'll tell you right now. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? There you go, Daddy Dojima. He ignores, he ignores all those people there and then hey, finds us here. What are you doing here? Dude. We're literally just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. Yeah, that's kind of Bell's fault. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, I like how he how does it. He, he, I hope you get along. I, I don't understand why he's just like, yeah, I'm his uncle. Like, I guess, I guess there's a localization thing, the between Japanese and English language, but it, it was just like, look, I'm his uncle. But you three really ought to stop <laughs> wandering around and head straight home. Uh, I can't stand that loser. <laughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Is that a I, Like, I don't think that's a threat. <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? Yeah, most likely. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, 
Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Oh, okay. So that's a, a con like I've noticed this is like a lot of Japanese like cartoon well, games and anime and stuff. You know, they go say let's let's they do let's do our best or whatever. It's like a cloak. I don't know. Like I always understood. I always wondered why they say that and stuff. You know, instead of you know just by I guess the death difference between American and Japanese culture and the language and common colloquial terms and stuff like that. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. She just. She's just a sob story. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Change it, Billy. Around noon today, a woman Change was found it, near the Samegawa River in Enum. Dang it. The deceased is yeah, identified it, Billy. as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer on the any child television station. This should be like the initial results of dealing the with like anything like this personally, so I always try to you know, chop this. But sometimes you can't you avoid it or whatever. Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department, that's where Dad works. And also, since her dad's a cop, I'm not excited with this a little bit. Mm. Mm. I, I'm, there's always a right answer. Uh-uh. It's his job, so things like this happen. Uh, she ain't scared at all. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a Look, homicide. Look, how can that be an accident? A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress. Now it's and common. And plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. So, this is one of the confusing things. That I, I just can't, can't understand. So, uh, earlier you heard a character talking about the, tho the fogs being new. Like, you know, recently, every time it rains, it, it gets really foggy and thick. No, something new. This guy is saying this is common, so I guess it's not new. But I don't, I don't think he's never been to this town, so I don't think he knows anything. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <laughs> Oh, it's Juness. It's at Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. This is literally the most, most impressive thing about this town. Every day is great at your Juness. You better sing, sing, boy. You memorized it already. I'm the best one in my class. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I literally, literally do not understand. I can't leave it anyway, so to the, the next day. Anyway, so this game is based off sort of a day cycle. There is a definite time limit to where if you don't get whatever you're supposed to get done within a certain time limit, I guess Valkyria profile style, uh, Someone. we uh, get the bad ending. Okay. There is a bad ending, and I've gotten it before. By, again, by accident. I didn't know anything. I was an idiot. <laughs> you saved me. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Brosif. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Yes. What did I call him before? I'm pretty sure I called him the wrong name. Anyway, I don't really care. You good, bro? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. 
That's true. Uh, it, it, Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Actually, like, this guy. My test. He's one of my favorite characters out of the Persona oh, series. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. That's, that's bro ship right there. Hey dog, I got you, man. Let's get to school. I don't know how they were already late, though. They they were they only stopped in chat for like 10 minutes. I'm not going to read any of this. I'm just going to click through it slowly so you have a chance to read it yourself. So, anyway, you know, as I said, it has like a social school life simulator going on. So you you have your stats of intellect, courage, and the two other stats I can think of right now, and you have to as you balance so, that out, it gives it gives you place? actual in game rewards for doing it, like story wise and stuff. You know, uh, it take like wow, there's one fast. character I can't even recruit to join, you no know, my team since you know sorry JRPG. I can't even, can't recruit them until well I can't build my whatever thing with them until I get a certain level of intelligence and courage. So it's really, you know, whatever. And there's a lot of like skill checks based off, you know, your those particular skills as well. And there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. Exactly. So this is why I said clean, I said earlier great. that he's not the only you know person from the this city. Delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like, that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? He did apologize. Uh, my trial of the dragon? He said I was going to replace it. You always come around when I'm talking about food. Exactly. Again, also, if you haven't noticed, he is also from the city. That's what I'm trying to imply. And she was like, we don't ever get nobody from the city to talk it, to. Yukiko. Don't you you'll, think he should treat okay. us too? It's okay. Yeah. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. That is so depressing. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? <laughs> it's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. This, like, just see the disgruntled well, look on her face. I should be on my way. I feel so bad for her. You know, it's always well, like we you, should get going it, too. I guess some of y'all have to deal with this in, in, in IRL. You know, if you're huh? it, part of a family business, so your family has you like a two people has a really you know expensive business that's always been in the family, and you just expect it to join in, like either socially or you know, like based off family and stuff. You just expected to join it, then uh, it sucks. It's the expectation. Like, I, I really get how she feels. Like, I, I understand it. I don't. I could never truly understand it, but you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm about to wrap this up soon. Hopefully, I'm gonna get this cutscene real quick. About? And uh, they don't have grilled steak here. As you can tell, they're in a food court. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Hey. We would have hit change plans. It's awful. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. He's also most likely expected oh, right. to take over this. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. Six months ago, he was the city boy. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is tables. on me too. Yeah, I know. She is just an unusual scum lord of the universe. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. Yeah. A it's lot a of thing. stores there started closing, and... Oh, um... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you?
Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. That was I'm my actual jab. Tired. Like a real, real jab. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... I have a huge crush on you. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred? Literally a small town. You list how small this town is. She not even the same grade, same school, different grade level. Okay. She knows who this. She recognizes this person as a foreigner immediately, and assumes that he's a transfer kid. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to. I also would have already referenced multiple times. I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. There's actually a reason for that. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? Alright, well, oh, stop right here real quick. Or stop it eventually. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying. But she's even nosier than me. Mm. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah, so I get that's it. that's how it is. I feel it. Anyway, I'm stopping right here. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.